Greetings guys, this is Tokraft and I am back in the Netherlands in my old trusted room with all my equipment and everything and uh, it was an absolutely amazing journey to the United States, I've enjoyed every single moment of it and also this tank museum was just amazing, they had so many tanks it was very amazing to see that some of the tanks that are in the game World of Tanks at the moment have actually existed and even some of them have fought in World War II. So I'm going to show you some tanks that were in the museum. Not all though, because not all of the tanks were that interesting. But I'm going to show you the ones that were most interesting for me. And I think are the most interesting for you. So let's go and take a look. Do you know what the fascinating thing about this tank is? There are a lot of Panzer 4s in the world, but there are only three Panzer 4H models, and I was looking at one.
So guys, that was pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys. It is absolutely amazing to see those tanks in real life. Uh, when I was in the museum, I met the owner of the museum. He was driving around in his little bike and he was answering questions of uh, people that wanted to ask something. Maybe you can catch a glimpse of him uh, in this piece of recording. But anyway, while I was checking out this beautiful Hellcat in their museum, he came around and he told me a lot about this Hellcat. One of the things was that this tank has actually been damaged by other tanks in World War II. You can see some shell holes in the side of the tank. Before the museum was located in Danville, it stood in another place and the place got a little bit small because the owner got more and more tanks. So he moved all the tanks to Danville in this huge fabric hall, I guess. He got those from a friend. No idea why, but hey. I don't think you can hear him complaining, but he had to move all of his tanks to Danville, of course, and that cost him over a million dollars only to move the tanks into the new museum. But he has absolutely done well with the new museum, it looks so beautiful, it was an absolute pleasure to visit that museum. They also had a really cool gift shop and I bought a Tiger 2 model and a small Tiger 1 uh, yeah, model that you could build up yourself. It's absolutely awesome. So guys, if you ever have a chance to check out this museum, absolutely go visit it. It's 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 just amazing. Just you have to visit this museum once. But anyway, that was it. Please leave a like because I did put a lot of time in making this video. I hope you like this video and I will see you next time.